on this episode of Florida Sport Fishing TV. Oh man, that thing hammered that. <laughs> <laughs> CV Boats presents Florida Sport Fishing, television for the avid angler, powered by Mercury Marine. Florida Sport Fishing TV proudly utilizes and endorses Ballyhood Lures, rigged Wahoo Cowbells, and a proven lineup of tournament winning tuna and dolphin lures. Free shipping at Ballyhood.com. Taco Marine, makers of Shade Fin, a lightweight, versatile shade system that easily attaches into rod holders, tops, and arches for convenient portable boat shade. Shade Fin, shadow and seconds. Boat Outfitters, where owners and builders go for replacement parts and hard to find hardware. Tropic Trailer, Florida's largest dealer, has the right trailer at the right price. Look at him, dude, sacked up right there. That really, really looks good. What is this, a coral head here? Just some big coral heads? Yeah, this is some great bottom. A lot of hard bottom, a lot of coral heads. Gotcha, got perfect. Got a nice little sharp edge. Perfect, perfect. Hey guys, welcome to Florida Sport Fishing TV. We've got another absolutely awesome episode in store for you. We've got Captain Michael Sisto, Jersey Key Charters, our new co-host on board today. We're, of course, on our Mercury-powered CB390. We're off of Duck Key, Florida, down here in the Florida Keys, and we are looking for big monster mamaro snappers. This is it right now. This is the time of the year. In the summertime here, these fish are up here spawning, right? I mean, is this peak season for these bigger fish? This is it. We're just on the full moon here. The fish are out on the reef, and uh, they should be out here in big numbers. Perfect, perfect. Like all other episodes, we're going to go over location and getting set up. We're going to go over proper preparation. We're going to talk about tackle. We're going to talk about bait. We're going to talk about everything that you need to know to come out here and get in on these monster mangrove snappers. It's a staple down here in the Keys. Guys look forward to these big fish during the summertime all year long. We're gonna get on them here today, or we're certainly gonna do our best. So stick around, I'm telling you what, it's gonna be an absolutely explosive episode. Yeah, man, it looks absolutely perfect. We've got a little bit of east wind, about 10 to 12 knots right in our face here. Hopefully the current's flowing in the same direction as the wind. We all know how important that is to get on a good you know, reef bite here. But looks good. So hop up there, Michael. I'll get us right into position, throw the hook, and all right, see if we can get, get on these things. Now, using this Furuno Fish It Drift It feature on the TZ Touch 3, with the version two software, I'm able to just pinpoint exactly where I want to fish. I let the boat drift, it calculates my starting point. I then go up, drop the anchor right on that particular point, and we drift right back on the spot. I mean, it really takes the guesswork out of it because I'm telling you what, sometimes you think you know how you're gonna lay based on the conditions, but until you're on that anchor, until you're tight, you know, you end up sometimes off of where you think because the current's a little bit different than what you initially thought it was gonna be. But with the Fish It Drift It feature, that takes all of the guesswork out of it. So really, really an innovative, uh, you know, tool. Right there. Okay, go ahead. It's all about proper positioning. You know, I can't stress how important it is to make sure you're in the absolute perfect position when you're chumming these patch reefs. This is not a big spot. We're fishing just some coral heads here, and it's not a huge spot, and it's vital that the boat ends up right where I want it. If not, you know, pick up and do it over again. Let out about 20 feet. You know, it takes a little bit of extra time, or it might take a little bit of extra time initially to get you where you want to be, if you didn't end up exactly where you want, just up current or upwind of the spot that you want to fish so your chum flows over top of it. And like I said, if you didn't end up exactly where you want, pick up the anchor and do it over again, okay? It's gonna make all of the difference. It might take an investment in time initially, but you're definitely gonna be on a better bite. And again, we're close. The spot that I want to fish is right behind us there. Not only can I see it on the machine and I know where I want to fish, but I could physically see it. I could see the really dark 
coral heads in the bottom right here. Of course, I'm sure that doesn't translate on the camera right now in these early low light conditions. Keep going, I'll tell you when to stop. But it's there. And even though we're close, you know what? When it comes to successful reef fishing, especially for the big mangrove snappers that we're looking for, close is not good enough. So here it is, I'm looking at it right here on the edge of the machine. We're now right to the edge of it. Man, I read a lot of life here. I'm really hoping this translates into a good bite because I'll tell you what, they are stacked. Stacked right here. Aqua Traction Marine Flooring outperforms the competition, enhancing the comfort, appearance, and fishability of any boat. Competitors use open cell foam, prone to staining. Our durable closed cell foam is 100% stain resistant and withstands the harshest marine environments. We guarantee it. Precise designs and dependable adhesive ensure your custom floor will exceed your expectations with many seasons of trouble-free use. Contact our preferred dealer for a free quote and discover the difference. For over 80 years, Furuno Innovations have helped more fishermen find and catch more fish than any other brand. And we're raising the bar again with Navnet TZ Touch 3's new PBG and Fish It Drifted Technologies. Build your own three-dimensional shaded relief charts to find trophy fish others have missed. Perform accurate drifts the first time, every time. Be the one everyone follows. When you're serious about fishing, lead the way and get serious with Furuno. Another one on the jig. That's Grouper Dynamo. Yeah! How's that for a sea monster? Chaos. Gear matters. Shop online or visit our new superstore for everything fishing. The award-winning Z Performance line from CV raises the bar. It's not just fast. It's not just fuel efficient. The CVZ is the entire package. It offers the perfect balance, safe, predictable handling during hard turns and at high speed. And most importantly, the Z stays on plane at lower speed so it can comfortably handle anything Mother Nature can dish out. Experience the exhilarating ride of the CVZ. Schedule a sea trial today. Look at these guys. They came to say hello. Beautiful. Look at those two frigates right there. Woo! See them just pick up that morsel. Just got another bait, another one. What incredible birds. Now those frigates can fly for months without landing. There's one, there's one, there's one right there. That's on a live pin fish. Oh, that's a nice fish right there. That's a nice one. Yeah. Oh. Oh man, get up here. Oh, he got me under a rock. Oh, there he is. Got him out, got him out. Nice, nice job, Mike. Nice snapper. Oh yeah, see that? That's a fat one. I Swing think I could in? flip them, yeah. yeah. Okay. You know, here's a trick to flipping them. Listen, just point your rod right at the fish, and then one smooth motion straight up, and he'll come right in the boat. Just like that. That's the kind of mangrove snappers that we're after. Fish that size and larger. And keep in mind, you can get on these, you know, 12 to 16 inch fish by the dozens all over the reef. They're loaded all over the reef. But finding the bigger ones, finding these larger, you know, quality fish like this, and, and bigger, I know there's even some bigger ones down here. That takes a little bit of preparation, takes a little bit of extra effort. It takes those bigger baits. Oh! Oh, these things are fired up. Yeah, these are nice fish here, Mike. It's fun fishing these bigger baits. You Isn't know, you, you could fish this spot with shrimp, smaller, you know, frozen chunk baits and you'll pick away a 10, 12, maybe a little bit bigger. All but day long. Yeah, throwing out these larger baits, fresh live pins, fresh ballyhoo. You're gonna pull in all nice quality mangroves. Look at that one, dude. Yeah. Very nice. Right. <laughs> Look at that one. 
And that's the difference with the bait. That's the difference. All about the bait. You know, we keep talking about it, but it really does make that big of a difference because that guy's not going to eat a little chunk. And not yeah. only is he not going to eat a little chunk, all the yellowtails, the chubs, and everything else that's in the slick right here is going to get to that before he gets to it. That's right. So that big, tempting live bait is absolutely essential for those quality mangroves. I need to get another bait down there. Yep. Get up here, get up here. Oh, it looks like you might need a net, huh, Mike? Man, I'll tell you what, they are strong, right? No, you know what, he's hooked really well. He's hooked really well. Right. Oh, yeah. Nice mango. <laughs> Look how fat that is. That's full grown right there. Yep. Full grown, nice and thick. You got beautiful fish. Great eating fish on the dinner table, we all know that. Oh, big yeah, those... fangs right there. Very similar, somewhat similar, of course, to a Cubera. Okay, and just inhale that jig. And I have to stress, you know, again, this is real simple fishing, but you've got to do it right. That jig head, it's a 3 8 ounce jig head, but it's got that big, beefy, meaty hook, right? You can't fish one of those little dainty hooks. They'll straighten the hook out every time. You know, plus with those smaller hooks, you'll be dealing with yellowtails and smaller juvenile fish all day long. But fishing a little bit of a bigger, heavier duty jig head is really gonna make all of the difference. Hey, got another mangy. I'm trying to get him to the boat as quick as I can with that shark around. Yeah, another mangrove. That's a good one. Yeah, they're all solid, solid fish. I just didn't know what hit him. I yanked him so quick to get him in the boat. <laughs> oh! There he is. That one's on a live pinfish. Yeah. I think they're fired back up. I hope so. Ooh. Nice grade of fish. Oh, yeah. Woo! That's another good one. Another fat Everyone. one right there. Right, every one of them is a good one. Some are just a little bit better than others. Hey, I tell you what, we're on a hot mangrove snapper bite. Looks like they're firing back up. Mike, you're catching some on cut bait, live ballyhoo. I just got this one on a live pinfish. Let's take a break from the action for a second. Check out our pro tip. Pro's tip, proudly presented by Debro Fishing. Innovative tackle storage solutions for every venue. Learn more online. All right, once you do hook up to these mangroves, if you're not familiar with them, first thing you want to watch out with is they have big old fangs and they got some mean jaws, so they can do a number on you. But also when you grab them, the top of them, they got spikes that can really get you. Everyone's got their different style and approach to doing it. I kind of do the under the arm and just kind of grab them right back here and hold them and just watch out for those teeth and take that hook right out of here. And just kind of hold them here because these will mess your day up. And you want to definitely be a little bit cautious when handling a mangrove snapper. At Mercury, we conducted our roughest tests ever in order to create our smoothest engine ever. The V8 Mercury Verado. Light, quick, efficient. Mercury, go boldly. At Mercury, we've been reshaping power how you use it is completely up to you. The V8 Mercury four-stroke. Light, quick, efficient. Mercury, go boldly. Fiberglass, they use it to build boats and yachts because of its strength and durability. And that's exactly what every frigid rigid cooler is made out of. This is my set after 12 years and I keep them outdoors with industrial grade rubber gasket and stainless steel hinges with backing plates. Not a single component has failed on any of them. Can you honestly say that about your coolers? From 35 to 300 quarts, there's a frigid rigid cooler, coffin box or freezer for every boat.
Are you ready for a world-class adventure? Fishing up to 150 miles offshore and always on the hunt for untouched fisheries, the legendary 100-foot Yankee Caps is Florida's premier long-range head boat. Fish around the clock for trophy snapper, grouper, tilefish, tuna, and more. With all the comforts of home and plenty of elbow room, Captain Greg Mercurio and his dedicated crew will put you or your entire charter on a hot bite fishing the famed halfway ledge, Pulley Ridge and beyond. Rated number one in service, Yankee Cap sails from Key West year round. Above deck or below, Easy Anchor Puller is the way to go. From the Hero Series pontoon anchoring solutions on freshwater lakes and rivers to the Rebel Freefall Series, when fast anchor deployment is critical in deep coastal salt water, there's an Easy Anchor Puller for every application. Aluminum or fiberglass boat Easy Anchor Puller drum anchor winches are compact enough to fit in tight spaces and made with all 316 stainless steel components so you can easily mount them above deck or below. Visit EasyAnchorPuller.com, call 1-800-800-1640 today. Whoa, whoa. Oh man, that thing whoa, hammered that! Whoa. <laughs> whoa. Man. He wants that bottom. Yeah, he does. That's the whole key. Get that fish up off the bottom. Once he's up off the bottom, you're in the clear. You can take your time, slow down a little bit. <laughs> oh my God, look at the size. I'm not a good snapper. I mean, are you kidding me? Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't even get my hand around. <clears throat> Look at that thing. That's a mangrove. That's a monster <laughs> mangrove. A monster mangrove. Wow. You know, these fish actually don't live to 30 years old, believe it or not. Some of these <clears throat> bigger mangroves will live all the way up to 30 years old. You know, certainly not this one. This one is, of course, full grown, <laughs> but they'll get substantially larger than that. They'll live up to 30, and they don't get big by being dumb. Beautiful. Yeah. That's nice. That, that absolutely is my personal best mangrove snapper that I've ever caught, for sure. Yeah, we'll slow down. These things aren't going anywhere. No, right? these are not. Yeah. To be honest, I think, net. yeah, the more this chum goes further back, the hungrier these fish are getting. Nah, Mike, I could swing this guy. Normal days. Beautiful. Nice fish. On a normal day, I'd be super pumped about this fish. But right? I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. today it's like, hey! Yeah. You know, that's what I'm saying. You know, on any typical day, that would be a big, big mangrove snapper that anybody would be happy with. Mm -hmm. But we're very fortunate. We've got some good conditions today. And the key to these conditions, we've got this east wind, and our chum is flowing right off the back of the boat. When you get that chum flowing under the boat up into the wind, it becomes very challenging to catch these fish because the chum's flowing under the boat, the conditions are unnatural. But right now, everything is really lining up in our favor. Everything and these is guys right. are really responding. Beautiful mangs. The only thing we got is this, oh, these low light conditions definitely don't hurt us right now. Gotcha, gotcha. These clouds. So early morning, a little bit of cloudy. Well, I mean, it's certainly gonna be bright blue soon, but yeah. for now, Beautiful. This thing's tearing. Wow. Yeah. This is not a mutton, maybe? This is not a mangrove. But not unusual, you know, fishing here with the live pinfish, certainly a possibility. A big grouper, a mutton snapper. Definitely, know, yeah. Everything's living here, feeding here. We've got the whole food chain going on. Oh, I don't know, dude. Look at the size of the mutton. Yellow jack. Yellow nice jack. Yellow yeah, jack. Nice there yellow we go. Jack. <laughs> really, really cool fish. Absolutely yeah. awesome for sashimi. One of the best fish for it sashimi. Is definitely one of my is favorites. Yellow jacks. You know, we were saying everything eats the pinfish, right? Everything. Well, look at that. We're targeting the mangroves, and here's this big old yellow jack comes along and slams that pinfish. <laughs> big one, dude. That's a wow. nice yellow jack. <laughs> <a> All right. <laughs> oh, man. Phew. Oh, that's a slob yellow jack. That's a nice little surprise right there. Yeah, see those colors, real right. nice. But I'll tell you what, that is an absolutely beautiful fish. While we get this guy on ice, let's take a break, check out our rigging station. We're gonna break down the tackle that we're fishing here today, step by step, you know, so this way you can come out here and do this yourself and catch just beautiful fish like this. Awesome. Rigging Station, proudly presented by VMC, your expert in hooks.
Hey guys, you're watching us out there catching these big mangrove snapper, monster mangroves. Certainly some of the biggest mangroves I've ever caught, Michael. We're on a hot bite. Yeah, all quality fish nonstop. Yeah, really, really good fishing. And I'll tell you what, you can do this too, but do it right. You know, for us, the balance tackle, really important, very sporty, but enough backbone to stop bigger fish. You had a really, really nice yellow jack. We got our clock cleaned by a big grouper. Nothing we can do about that. But again, it's about balance. Chaos 12 to 20 pounds class seven foot conventional rod matched to a Daiwa Saltiga 30HA reel loaded with fresh 20 pound diamond line. From the end of the diamond line, we've got a small little streamlined knot, no hardware, no barrel swivel, snap swivels, none of that junk. Just a very small uni to uni or a blood knot connecting 12 to 15 feet of 20, 25 or 30 pound test diamond presentation fluorocarbon when during the day is the ideal time to fish either of these fluorocarbons? You know, generally you can get with heavier line and lower light conditions. Lower light. And uh, you know, we like to start off a little bit heavier. If you're not getting the bites you think you should be getting, you always work down to some lighter line. That's right, so it's always a good idea to start on the heavier side and back down, you know, really, really a good tip. From there, 3 8 ounce jig head, white seems to be the ticket for the mangroves. Love white. Love white. A <laughs> um, little bit of a Beefier hook on that jig head, really important. Have a variety of different sizes, quarter ounce, half ounce, one ounce, depending on the depth, the current, etc. Always be well prepared. Perhaps the most important factor is the bait. The bait has to be fresh or alive. Right. That's, you know, to fool those big mangroves. That's it. You'll they didn't get big by being dumb. No, we wouldn't have caught those today if we didn't have the bait release. That's right. Live pinfish, live balu, both of them did wonders. So get out here, get down here, and of course you can catch mangroves pretty much all over the state of Florida. Do it right and you're gonna stay tight. Dependable terminal tackle is vital in every venue. That's why professional anglers targeting bonefish to blue marlin rely on diamond fishing products. With an extensive selection of the finest monofilament, fluorocarbon, and braided fishing line in the world, it's time you avoid the rest and rig with the best. Diamond Fishing Products, the official line of Florida Sport Fishing TV, tournament winning fishing teams, and busy charter captains from coast to coast. Florida Sport Fishing TV proudly utilizes and endorses Spool Tech, Hyperelastic, Engage, and Ocean Born Lures. Stay connected with the next generation of innovative and effective soft and hard baits for every venue. Salt Life Sunglasses, unparalleled polarized protection with anti glare properties and special coatings to repel water and oil. Jigs are us. A massive selection of slow pitch jigs in stock and ready for delivery. Free shipping at jigsrus.com and your entire order will arrive rigged and ready to fish. Oh man. Oh man. All right. Nice. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. It lightened up. That fish crushed that. What bait was that? That was on another That's value. Another big snapper, like, right? Another big yeah. mangrove. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, nice mangrove. Oh. Look at the shoulders on Whew. that thing. Beautiful. This is wild. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Shark That's why we got. do this. It looks like you got a tooth mark in the side, right? Or no? No, no, you just. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, he did. Look. He, he did? did? You got a little. Uh, yeah. He wanted a little scar. <laughs> you know, that's what fishing in the Keys, you know, it's not going to be, it's not going to be a bang up job every day. You know, that's what I've learned that being down here, you've got to put in the time. You know, I think a lot of guys have the misconception that they're going to come down here and every single trip, they're going to sink the boat with quality fish, you know, 
And you know better than anybody that that's right. not yeah. the case. You day know? in and day out. You just gotta wait for those days when the conditions are right. Right, where everything, everything aligns, aligns and you're able to really put together a solid catch. But it's about putting in the time. It's about, you know, the preparation. I've said it so many times and I can't stress it enough how important it is to be ready for everything. You know, truth of the matter, we had a goal in mind today. We were gonna come out, look for these big mangrove snapper that was plan A and plan A has worked. But trust me when I tell you, we've got a plan B and a plan C, you know, rigged and ready to go as well because you just gotta fish the conditions. You know, if you come out and we had no current and the conditions weren't ideal for big mangrove snapper fishing or if we couldn't find the quality of the fish that we were looking for, I was ready to switch it up. Maybe head off, do some vermilion snapper fishing, maybe even some mutton snapper fishing on the wrecks as well. Another nice mangrove. Beautiful colors on yeah, this one. Beautiful, look at that. This one's a little bit red mahogany. Awesome. Man, we covered a lot, Michael. We covered how to get set up, how important proper positioning is, you know, fishing the right baits, the right tackle, making sure you're on the right bottom, what to look for, you know, so this way you can come out here and do this too, you know, with some proper preparation and, you know, being dedicated to saying, hey, forget about all those small bites, right? It's not about the quantity here, it's about the quality about fishing those bigger baits. That's it, we took you know? our time, fished the bigger baits, we had perfect conditions, everything came together for yep. a great man. Which doesn't fish. always happen, but I'll yeah. tell you what, it's been one hell of a morning, so. Hey, make sure you check out fsftv.com. There's a lot of great videos there, instructional videos. There's even a seminar. We're gonna turn this show into a seminar. So literally, we're gonna break it all down even further. So if you missed anything, you certainly can catch it there. Again, that's fsftv.com, and we'll see you next week. Beautiful. Connect with the crew on Instagram at Florida Sport Fishing TV. Catch our extreme seminar series at www.fsftv.com and get hooked up. That's a monster mangrove. <laughs> monster mangrove. Wow. Absolutely awesome. Oh, look, definitely spawning because he's got all of his happy juice coming out. <laughs> 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 That's the first time I put the word happy juice yeah. on air. <laughs>